الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam warned us in many a hadith and of course Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost warns us in the Quran about speaking about individuals and harming their honor and about backbiting and ghiba and namima and so it is upon us if we claim to be from Ahl sunnah we should be first and foremost to reject ghiba and namima and to carry tales. And an example of Namima is that we hear something about someone and then we spread it with the intent of spreading wickedness. And in fact, we may not want to actually, in and of itself, we may not want, you, you won't find a person who says, yes, I wanted to spread evil, but rather you will find that people do these things, commit such infractions, but often there's no Islamic benefit and they don't look to it really as an Islamic benefit. In fact, they look in order to raise themselves up and their status or to be accepted by other individuals in cliques and hezbi groups. The hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam I wanted to mention in this regard about the sinfulness of this and why we have to train our tongues and why we have to be cautious is the hadith in which the Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam said or the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam I believe it's the hadith of Abi Huraira or perhaps it was Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma he said مر النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على قبرين فقال He said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was walking by two graves and then he said إنهم ليعذبان وما يعذبان في كبير Verily they're being punished in the graves and they're not being punished for something in which the people think is great. As for one, he didn't used to clean himself properly while making wudu. And as for the other, is he used to spread tales about the people, you know, making namima, meaning that he spread tales about the people in order to spread wickedness throughout the community. So, here we learn from this hadith that by speaking about people and carrying tales about people, a person earns the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They earn the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is because ibadah, as Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, Al-ibadatu ism jami' li kulli ma yuhibbuhu Allah wa yardah min a'mal al-zahir wa batin that worship is everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and is pleased with from deeds that are done openly and hidden so that lets us know ibadah, worship, is comprehensive. Therefore, what's implied from that definition is that that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates or sinfulness is those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates and detests. Those things that earn the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that the servant will be punished for those things which they do that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. And from those things is namima, spreading tales about people with the intent to spread wickedness. And so that lets us know that first that's one of the major sins. Secondly, 
that it's an actual punishable and it's something, a reason for people's, one of the reasons from amongst the reasons that a person will be punished in the grave. And whenever the ulama mentioned that whenever a punishment is mentioned or attached to a sin, then that means that's what distinguishes it from the minor sins. Therefore, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his divine names and attributes to bless us to be from Ahli Iman, to protect us from being ahl, from Ahl Fasuk and the, and, 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 and the people of sinfulness and wickedness and those people who backbite and spread wickedness. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.